Ja, dat is zo'n family. Originally uh, uh, came from, from a Cape, from a Cape, through the eastern province, and from there up to uh, the old Transvaal. And uh, my sta father started to farm, uh, approximately 1925. And uh, uh, I, I always told me about the 1933 drought, which was a very severe, severe drought. Uh, gradually, the, f the, the operations became bigger and bigger. And uh, yeah, me, uh, me and my th uh, brother, elder, eldest brother, he was also on the farm. Uh, after my studies, I came to the farm and I was uh, farming uh, in cooperation with my father. So that's more or less the, the Rousseau family. My father married to a, 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 a my mother was surname was Le Cordier, also a French uh, surname. And uh, yeah, uh, they had f five children. And uh, I met my wife at university. And okay, that, that's more or less the first part. Well, this Rousseau's is just an ordinary family. And um, we try to make a humble ex existence. And the house is always open for everybody. And uh, like on a farm, you've got to have food all day long because you give everybody food or tea or cookies or something nice. But I think that is the idea that we have of a farm. I would say there are two jokers in the family and that is uh, the eldest and the youngest is uh, Adrian and um, Nadia because uh, they are doctors and they've got many stories of their patients when they were in practice and we used to laugh, the, the lot of us, we really crawl like laughing when they first tell us about their first operations, etc. So it's very, very funny. I, 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 I'm more a sort of a, a serious person, you know, and uh, it's one of my problems in life. I, I, I think I take life too, too serious, you know, and uh, yeah, uh, but uh, as a family, we, we, were, uh, we are a very, very happy family together uh, and all of us are so uh, fond of farming, of the farm life. Uh, I think we, we farmers by heart, you know, it's, it's all we want to do uh, and it's, 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 a, it's a great privilege to be a farmer, to be in the open uh, every day. But uh, on, on, the, on, the other hand, on the other hand, if you work for yourself, that's the, the worst employee to, to, to work for, you know, if you work for yourself and you push yourself to, to, to uh, the utmost limits. And I, I think that's why we thought a to a great extent we uh, uh, achieved a lot of um, uh, things, you know, and uh, expanded the farm because we take things seriously. If we play, we play. But the moment if we are back on the farm in the work, we absolutely do our best. It's, it's part of us. Uh, when we were young, the two of us, uh, we played squash together, a lot of uh, sports, and uh, we like to be with the family, you know, and we like to, to go to the, uh, to the sea. And uh, my, my children are all golfers, and also my grandchildren are also all go golfers. But the two of us, we like to travel. Travel is one of our hobbies, you know. It's, it's such a great privilege to, to, to be able to travel, to see the world. And uh, I think that's part of our fun, you know, to see the world, to see the creation. And be just grateful for what we are and where we are. And uh, as um Chris said, it's so lovely to stay on a farm because you haven't got a traffic in the mornings, a traffic jam. You can just go out your gate and just be in the, on your way to the next farm. Well, in the first place, they must be focused. And I think to be... Um, a mother who were always at home and who were there for them, that also counts a lot because, you know, when a child comes home from school, he likes to tell his mother or somebody what happened in school. So I was always there to listen to their stories. And as Uncle said, 
I watched over a thousand rugby matches and I used to think by myself they could really make me a ref because I'll be a great ref. I couldn't get a better wife than my, wi uh, my, my wife, Nobi. So uh, the two of us think, I think, makes a, uh, making a, a very good team, you know. She's looking after our finances and she's looking after me, you know. And I think one of my be uh, best uh, values uh, on life was the fact that she, she was my partner. Not only my wife, but my partner. I've decided to, to, to study agriculture, uh, yeah, mainly to improve myself and to get some of the best information to apply on the farm. And uh, uh, I was fortunate to, to meet my wife there at, at Takish. And uh, the two of us decided that seeing that we've, we've got, uh, each of us got a de degree, at least my, my children, if they have, have the the, the possibility, the, the, the probability to do it. They must also go to university and at least get one or other degree. Yeah, well, life is a journey, it never stops. And uh, the information, uh, every day there's some new stuff on, on, on the market, you know, so you must, you must keep up with the Joneses, you must be there. Uh, and uh, it's, it's, it's wonderful if you've got the possibility, the probability to do it, you know to uh, learn and to hear about modern things in life. It's, it's very, very interesting and, and I, I am mad about it. You know. uh, well, in the church, we like, we, when we were younger, we really did our part because um, I was uh, teaching in Sunday school and he was a, uh, an elder and I was a deacon. But in the community itself, um, Chris uh, was really making a big contribute. Uh, I was uh, 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 deeply in involved with the, in, in my community, you know, at the yeah, church level, at school, uh, and uh, uh, also in uh, agriculture, agricultural society. Uh, I did my part for, for the community for over 30 years, you know, and uh, it, it was a privilege to do it. We really enjoyed it because every year they have a big competition uh, against uh, the, 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 the farms uh, for a, a choir competition. And then they start practicing and they get all new ideas. And when the day finally comes, then everybody does his best. And uh, we must always get a winner. And it's so difficult to get a winner because everybody is so good at what he does. And they dance and they sing and they just live up to it so that we, we, we really enjoy that and uh, we hope this year will be the same and uh, yes in the in the church they have their choir also and uh, that really moved us deeply okay now we we, we use the the, the 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 hall as a community hall uh, who does a lot of things there we just started a, f a physical training in the church hall and the ladies are really loving it. And we do it twice a week. And they even asked me the other day, can't they do it three times a week because they really love it. You know, I, I, I think it's one of the biggest uh, privileges is to, uh, the, the fact that you're a farmer, is the, the, the fact that you are so uh, dependable on your, on, on your creator. Because you, every day of your, of your life, uh, you, you've got something to do with him, you know. And to, you see him, and you believe him, and you feel him. And uh, uh, it's, it's wonderful to be, in, to be able to, to uh, inhale fresh air, to see birds and life around you. Uh, and and uh, on the other hand, if it's ra raining, you're thankful. If it's dry, you're worried at night time. But your faith must be so strong. And, and that's, uh, I, I, it's, it's, it's such a big privilege to be a farmer because you, you feel him every day, you, it's around you. So without your faith, I, I think you're a lost person. Their whole lives, they, uh, uh, they try to be like their father. He's a real uh, model for them. And uh, they, they all uh, strive to be like him. Yeah, they make me proud. 
my, my children, and they have, they have got uh, drive in, in them, you know, and uh, uh, it's, it's a privilege to be uh, able to, to farm with them, you know, and to uh, sit in a meeting and see how they, they do things. And uh, I can only uh, thank the Lord for it, you know, my, my children are really go-getters. Uh, actually, I I've, I've gave the, uh, the business over in the, their hands, and they are uh, doing the job better than I can do it. So I definitely, and they, they are nice people, they are uh, solid people. Arman, she, she's a real lady, uh, and my, my children are so proud uh, of her, you know. She's always, I'm, I'm always proud of her, and uh, very intelligent, uh, highly intelligent, and uh, that's it's wonderful. You know, and to have uh, your, your uh, partner in life, uh, which you are proud of, I, I, I don't want to change her at all. And I, I, I enjoy her as she is. It's always nice to have her next to me. I think it's his sense of humour, because he's got a lovely sense of humour. And without that, I think farming will be a bit difficult. And I always play piano for him. You know. Yes, he plays the Make piano. Music. I can just say that the older we get, the closer we get. And actually, I can almost say the more we love each other because we depend on each other. And uh, we have so many memories uh, that we can really uh, talk all day or maybe sometimes just sit still all day next to each other. But we've got that feeling for each other and, and that, will, that just grows and grows. And I think we must set that example for our children. But you know, uh, we must always uh, just say thank you for the grace of God because it's, it's not our uh, background or, or what we do that can assure uh, um, that your child will be a success. And the biggest thing of all, I always say to them, to be humble. Because humbleness shows that you have receive the grace of God. It's not out of your own that you do these things. And I want to ask the people not to be so worried. Uh, be positive, uh, do your, the thing you want to do the best you can, and uh, there will, they will always be uh, a bright future. So let's try our best, all of us. If you don't believe, believe in the future, well, uh, what's, what's, what's left you? Nothing. Uh, so I, I'm a very positive person and positive uh, about agriculture, positive about the country and, uh, and, and the family life. I always tell her uh, she's got no option. She's got to stick with me till the last day, you know, so she's got no option. It's too late now to leave. Too late now for, uh, for uh, chasing me away. Yeah.